Okay, just a little story of resilience. One of the most evil things uh, my evil stepfather said to me that I still remember to this day, just being so proud of myself for handling, is he. I had just been broken up with at the time and I was really struggling with it and I was just studying at the kitchen counter. And he was probably angry at me for like not doing something correctly with like cleaning in the kitchen or something. And he turned to me and he said, you know, it's a good thing that, let's name him, let's name my ex Peter. You know, Peter was right to break up with you. Like, it's good for him that he broke up with you. And I remember thinking like, I can't imagine being that horrible and sad and deeply horrible inside and just like a deeply awful person to the point where you turn to a 16 year old girl and you tell her, that like, basically like, she's not worthy of love. And I remember thinking, like I knew even in that moment that that was a projection of what was inside him and nothing to do with me. And I didn't take it to heart, I didn't cry. I just kind of like blankly stared at him and I was just, I just thought, wow, like, I am always going to take these awful things that happen because we all have such awful things that happen to us in life and I'm gonna prove you wrong. I'm gonna find the love of my life. And I'm gonna find a man that would never say that to another human being under any circumstances. And I did.